So I would like to say that it, it is completely messed up that black travelers have to face this in the 21st century. So we need to wake up and sort out this mess in order to progress. So our number one is the uh, United States of America. We all love America because of its culture, you know, music, its TV programs and its movies. These have populated the world and they have influenced the way we see America on a daily basis. But if you look deeper, you can see there's friction between the different races. And if you don't see that, then you have a blind spot. This is the reason I put America as number one, because they have, they have had plenty of time to understand each other. What upsets me is those people out there that seem to have a blind spot. For example. Okay, four, racism. This last year, we've been told America is one of the most racist places on the planet. But overall, America is one of the least racist countries I've been to. Number five, fear. The US lives in a lot of fear. Number 12, lack of compassion, empathy. It's definitely the most tense at the moment. And, you know, understanding where someone is coming from, you know, why they vote for a certain person. Both are Americans that have recently traveled the world and visited and lived in different parts of the world. So they are able to take themselves out of that bubble and to try and see it from a different angle. Christine completely avoids the whole issue and Pete says it's not a problem. Excuse me, Pete? So the fact that there's institutional racism, he doesn't accept. This is why America will never fix its problems that it has. Now, number two on the list is Brazil. Now, Brazil actually has a lot in common with America in terms of how it started and its history. And it seems to have the same problems as America. Okay, number three on the list, again, it's another country which has an indigenous black population. And my number three is Australia. However, it, uh, Australia as a country is a bit remote, but it has a huge problem in regards to racism. Uh, number four is China. So China is a destination which is over the last couple of decades is one that more and more travelers are being, have been going to. We basically went to Shanghai, which is the big commercial city of China. It's very big, it's busy, it's cosmopolitan, very cultured, and it's China's version of London or New York. So we expected it to be enlightened, but once we got there, as soon as we arrived at the airport in Shanghai, it turned out that uh, this is the first place that you're gonna see what the people are like. The black travelers were picked out and they scrutinized their passports a lot longer than they did those of the white or, or Asian. Um, background and they try and insinuate that the passport was uh, even though it was, it was a British passport and they're trying to insinuate that the passport is a, is, is, is a forgery it's even got a biometric chip inside the passport so it's easy to put it into whatever machine that they use to find out the information on the chip and uh, the passport went from one person and then it went to another person and then to another person. It went through several people. I think at one point, even the cleaner had a look and expected the passport before and black travelers were allowed to go through. And the last but not least is Italy. Now, Italy is, we've had plenty of uh, experience, secondhand experience of Italy being racist we've seen plenty of reports on on the internet on the um on tv on other forms of media where the italians 
are being overtly racist. We've met, obviously, being from the UK, we've met lots of Italians from Italy who say, yes, uh, Italy is racist. So that's refreshing to see that at least even their own people say that there is racism. And I would like to add a couple of honorable mentions which didn't might make the top five, but we're pretty close. One of those would be France, and the other one is the UK, United Kingdom. That was our top five of worst places to go to and visit if you're a black traveler. The racism in America and also in China was 100% real. In China, it was completely overt, in your face, and in America, it was a little bit more covert. So that was our top five. If you managed to guess most of our top five, then well done to you. Please comment below and tell us about your experiences and what you guys have encountered regarding these countries, or give us your own individual list. Um, having said all that, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. I'm out.